Hey, pilots! Drain Man here, and today I have a pretty special video. In today's video, we are going to open up and check out the all new, the brand new Speedy B F405 V4 55 amp stack. It is not 50 amps, it is not 45 amps, it is 55 amps. And once I tell you this price and go over these specs with you, there ain't a doubt in my mind you're going to be picking one up, at least for your everyday bashers and crashers, because that's how we roll. Let's go. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pilots. So here's the deal. When it comes to Speedy B, one of the most beautiful things, I mean, absolutely amazing, is that you can connect Speedy B directly to an app on your phone. You don't have to stress that everything is perfect before you head out to the field. You can go ahead and do what you got to do in and on the bench. Go ahead and just throw that puppy in the bag, take it to the sky. And if you need to change a motor direction or you need to change some rates or pids or whatever it may be, it ain't nothing but a thing on a chicken wing because you can just Bluetooth right from this stack right to your phone just naturally on every single stack every single time. Yes, you can get the Speedy B adapter and do the same thing and blah, 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 but what's mo better than having it built in natively? So let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. So comes in our general Speedy B box, and as you can see, this is the model F4 V4 55 amps stack. So cracking this puppy open. <laughs> All right, as you know, you get your download the app uh, QR code that you can use. You've got your manual download, and if you're having problems, they have plenty of support. Speedy B is one that I do know for sure. If you get a stack and you have some problems, they will take care of you. This is important, guys. It's not just about saving $5. It's about when I get a dud or I get a some magic smoke, I can boop. Hey guys, come on. I didn't wire it wrong. <laughs> Red and black go together, right? No? Okay. Look at this beauty. Oh my God. I can't get over this. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Woo. But let me tell you this. This stack right here, 55 amp plus the full flight controller, full size, 30 by 30. This puppy is $69.99. That is $70. I can tell you right now, if I type in 55 amp stack, I am going to find nothing but 70 bucks, 80 bucks, 90 bucks, 100 bucks for just the ESE. You are getting a full stack ESE and flight controller for $70. It, it's an F405. That means we're not running the F722. So yes, we lose a couple things. We lose a little bit of speed. We lose a little bit of CPU power. We lose a little bit of UARTs and we also don't have built-in inverting, but that's okay. This puppy is going to be able to do anything you need it to. It's got all the features on board, plus some awesome upgrades we're going to go over. Let's go ahead and pull our ESC. Whew, look at that. That puppy is so gorgeous, and it's got this huge, beautiful heat sink, keeping everything nice and beautiful. You can see that the boards are stacked, MOSFETs up the sides. I can't wait to go over this. Let's see what comes inside. So our accessories, we've got every plug connector you can count on, and this is important. This is our jumper, right? This is gonna jump from our flight controller to our ESC. I want you to take note. You guys may or may have not participated in one of my build videos where I have a stack together, stacked, and I can't rotate my stack. Why? Because they didn't give me a long enough connector. My jumper from ESC to flight controller was just not long enough. So I have to rotate the whole stack or cut wires and solder them together and all. I don't want to do that. I want to have different plug options. All right, now also in the bag, I've got all the mounting nylon nuts. I've got extra grommets because they've already installed them for me. I've got stack mounting bolts. I have a 1,000, 1,000, that's a big boy. It is a 1,000 microfarad 35 volt capacitor. And then look, something that you don't see all the time, they gave me heat shrink, red and black, so I can slide them over and put this puppy wherever it fits and everything's gonna work out great. Now I've got some little uh, rubber stoppers here if I need some spacers or whatnot, and again, an extra grommet. So ESE, flight controller, capacitor, stack screws, and a very beautiful XT60 lead. This is the one with the, uh, mm, mm, 
All right, I'm not getting it open right now, but this is the uh, beautiful one that has the clip-on gray, which I do prefer over the soldered-on uh, heat shrink wires. So let's go ahead and dive into this ESC a little bit. We've got this beautiful heat sink on top. This is gonna keep everything from getting too hot. It's gonna help with heat dissipation. You guys know what a heat sink is. We've got grommets. We've got beautiful solder connectors on the top and on the bottom, you got a little bit of meat if you need it. Same for our main connector, positive and negative right here. And then you've got the two holes that you can slide your capacitor through. If you're unfamiliar, I'll show you. Boom and boom. Now your capacitor's in, you lay your leads on top. Once you flow your solder, it ain't going nowhere. When we look at the bottom, we can see here that if we break off our connector, we've got all of our solder pads right here, absolutely needed absolutely needed if i lose my connector which does happen now i can cut i can solder and i'm back on my way all right sliding our esc to the side let's take a look at our flight controller you can see we have the cutout here for our camera so if we run out of space and we need to tilt our camera back more and it's hitting our stack on a tight build you've got that space they've given it to you something that we have not really seen from speedy b is look at this on each edge you've got your connector for ground positive and control that is gonna be for LEDs. You can literally take any LED, something like this here, these Z's LEDs, these are absolutely beautiful. They're bright, they're powerful. I can cut this wire off and solder it up right here on each side, throw it on each arm, underneath, on top, whatever, and it's gonna look good. I love that. And then you can fully program these. And I guarantee you there's another pad on here that has it. Yep, there it is right here. So you have got all the play in the world with the LEDs, if that's what you're into. Now, right here, we've got our full Bluetooth setup, which is what makes Speedy B special. You can see we've got our connector, antenna, and <laughs> something they've been doing for a little while now is they've been throwing on a four LED bar, which all it's doing is picking up the amount of voltage coming in and giving you a calibration. One, two, three, or four LED. So I can literally plug in a battery, just look at my flight controller and go, eh, it's charged. Let's go. And that's pretty cool. It's not, that, it's not too crazy, but it's cool. It's cool. And even on this newer edition F405 with a 55 amp stack, 470 bucks, we are still getting that too. So I can't complain. I really can't. I'm not going to go over all these pads with you, but we've got everything from camera mounting. You've got telemetry, S bus for your thing. We've got plug and play DJI right here. I mean, you can't get better than this. Built in OSD, Betaflight OSD, if you're still flying any, you got it right there. We've got our SD card slot. If you need it, it's there. There were some problems with certain micro SD cards not working with SpeedyB that is solved and resolved. You can connect them all. They will all work absolutely beautifully. Now, due to it being SpeedyB, as you already know, we got full wireless configuration, all you could ask for. You've got dual gyroscope power supply filtering. What does that mean? That means that your scope, your gyroscope or your gyro, whatever you want to call it, it's the guy that's picking up all your movements in time and space, and it is double filtered to where before it wasn't. Now, this flight controller, believe it or not, I know, 70 bucks, it's practically free. You're practically buying an ESC and getting a free flight controller, but it does support eight motors. I, I know, I know. I know. All right. You got four by LED strips. That's all the way around. Again, just like our ESC, right? Boom, boom. If you break off your connector, boom, which they didn't just leave you hanging. You see that big old chunk of glossiness right there? Can you see that? That's because they covered it and protected it. But God forbid you rip it off. Doesn't matter. You know why? Because right here, we've got all of our pads broken out ever so perfectly okay all right so what i'm seeing here is i'm seeing some writing on the board what does this say oh wow it's telling me everything i need to know you are one for osd you are two for receiver dji plug and play this guys you don't need the manual you don't need nothing they wrote it on the board for you i'm done i rest my case can you even see it look at that right here it's telling you what you got have you ever connected up your ESC or flight control and you're like, okay, well, I just plug and played, but where'd it go? Am I in UR2? Am I in UR1? I mean, <laughs> so now I got to pull up the manual and I got to find this. Not with this puppy, you don't. 
they wrote it on the stack. <laughs> Super cool. All right, so you may see this little tiny chip right here, and it is smaller than normal. That is our ICM 42688P. That is a new and improved gyro. It is smaller, it is faster, it is smarter, it is just a little bit better than the BMI 270, which was on the old flight controller, the V3. I'm impressed, I'll take it. Something that's gonna blow your mind because, I mean, they kinda stopped doing them, honestly, on most flight controllers, budget flight controllers, you're not gonna find this. If I flip this over, look right here. Barometer, <laughs> on board. I don't know if you guys use that, GPS, that kind of stuff. If you need it, you got it, you want it, it's there. All right, so our onboard BEX, if I flip this over, you can see here, I've got a group of BEX here, and I've got a group of BEX here, right? So I've got two BEX on board. I've got my nine volt, and I've got my five volt. There's nine groups of five volt, and two groups of nine volt. They were in the past two amps, which you may or may have not experienced popping them. Doesn't matter which brand you are, usually they're only two amps. Well, they went ahead and beefed them up to three amps, which is, 30% bigger. I mean, that's it's quite a jump when you're talking about powering, you know, your air unit or your Vista or, you know, whatever, your VTX. Those extra oomph really help out and we've got them on board. All right, Pod, so we've just about covered it all. I mean, I can get into the nitty gritty, but we don't really need to. For 70 bucks, you're not going to beat this. Something else, too, is they've got the internal resistance down in these MOSFETs. That means that there's less heat generated. That is a big, big plus. So I am super impressed with this stack. I'm going to go ahead and slap it in a build and let you guys check it out. I'm sure building with it's going to be an absolute joy because these guys just are packed with so many features it doesn't matter what i want to do all right pilot so that is going to do it for our speedy b v4 stack 55 amp esc for 70 bucks and a free flight controller <laughs> i mean that's what it is let's call it how i see it right and then you've got lower internal resistance on this i didn't tell you that that means you're going to generate less heat you're going to be able to take more power more amperage spit it out chew it out and get back in the sky i hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope that you guys will go get your own Speedy BV4 stack, and I will see you on the next one.